Hello, I am Judith Brown Dianis, and I'm Executive Director of the National Office of Advancement Project. I'm really excited to be here with you, Renee. I'm excited to be here as well. Uh, I'm Renee Montgomery. I played 11 years. I'm still currently playing, but this year I sat out. And one of the main reasons is because of voter suppression. We have a history of voter suppression in this country, right? Like it didn't just happen. Um, it has existed since the founding of this country when Black folks were not allowed to vote at all. And they had to be white working men, so that earned your right to vote. Well, some of the things that throughout time happened was when Black people allow were allowed to vote, they would put sheriffs outside of, of the voting polls to try to scare mm -hmm. people away. And those same things actually still happen now in a sense of they have a lot of cop cars sometimes at polling locations so that people might feel uncomfortable. You know, if you're an ex-felon or if you're someone that may not necessarily want some, you know, even thinking about it, they used to have, poll they tried to have polling locations at a police station and people had to shut that down in a hurry because they knew people won't want to go in there. You know, and just talking mm -hmm. about it, there, there's so many different ways and things that people aren't aware of that is a tactic. And it started back when, they started to open up who could vote. You know, women weren't allowed to vote. You and I wouldn't have been allowed to vote right. when voting right. first became a thing because we're right. women. People make it harder for us to vote because they don't want us to vote because they exactly. understand the power of the vote. Now, I'm glad you said that because the power of the vote is the scariest thing. I think the more we talk about it, the voting was like the best kept secret that wasn't a secret. So we're talking a lot about voting and making sure you vote. But the reason I say that is because I know that if all of the young generation votes, what the future looks like is crazy. You know, right. and I don't think people realize the direct day-to-day -day connection. What they actually want you to do is decide to sit home and not vote because voter suppression this year looks different. Voter suppression looks like those long lines. If you get in there and there's some kind of problem, they said they don't have your name on the rolls or whatever, the other right that you have in every state in the United States is that if there's a problem, you can vote by what they call a provisional ballot. We yeah. call it the ballot of last resort. But if you have a problem, say, I want a provisional ballot and you have a right to that provisional ballot. And just so we're clear, there's so many ways to vote. You can do absentee, you can do mail-in, mm -hmm. you can even drop it off if you don't want to, if you don't trust the mailing system because you feel like it's unreliable, drop it off at a, a drop box. Go cast your vote in person if you feel that that's what you want to do. The whole point is there's so many options that not voting really isn't one. So y'all know what to do. Three, two, one, go vote, man. Mm -hmm.